Hey everybody, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie. It is late. It is late. Definitely not morning. I feel like you can't see my face, so I'm going to flip my hat around. As you're tuning in, I wanted to talk about, actually we're going to wrap up the book. It's evening, I know. Super awkward time to be doing mindset stuff. We usually do it in the morning. And let me flip this around so you can see my face. How are you doing? How is your, I'm guessing most of you are probably out. It's Friday night. We just got back from downtown West Palm Beach. We took the kids out for one more evening. We went and walked around like a little shopping area. We were at the beach today and then we are packing and leaving for Miami tomorrow. One day in Miami and we're going back to the snow. Midnight tomorrow. We're so excited. So excited. All right. Where are you tuning in from? What are you doing this Friday night? Anybody doing anything fun? Clearly, if you're watching me, you're probably at home, and so am I. I hope you've had an incredible week. We're about to dive into the weekend. I actually do have a question for you. Do you stick to, my question to you is this, do you stick to a pretty strict lifestyle over the weekends, or do you just do things like five days a week? We're doing a core four challenge, right? So really I'm coaching people on four steps at least four days a week for four weeks. And I have people that are like, yes, this is awesome. I can make it a lifestyle. I don't have to be strict every single day, but I'm making better choices. And I have people that are strict every day, not strict, but okay, let me ask you this. Cheat days. How many of you over the weekends have a cheat day or a cheat meal? And it's not a big deal if you do. I do like to remind people that if you choose to go out on a Friday night, or if you have a weekend, maybe it's a birthday party or something that comes up and you, I don't like the word derail. If you make certain choices, it is not a fail and it's having a lifestyle. And the biggest thing I tell people is this, it is not that you cannot have a cheat day or a cheat meal. And it's all about making sure you get back on track. Right. And so I hope you're having a great day <clears throat> once a month. I like that once a month. So uh, as you're tuning in, normally, well, throughout the page, you're always going to see if you're brand new, I would love to know that you're new, post new in the comments. If you've been here for a while, your presence matters. Thank you for always tuning in. I would love for you to press the share button. Uh, I'm ordering more books. When I get more books in, I'll be doing some more drawings. I just need them to get to my house. So I love to throw people's names in that share and then give away books because I love books. And so... Yes, can you hear them? Is it really loud? Is it really annoying? It's, I didn't know if it would be super loud as you can hear them. I think it's crickets. We're in Southern Florida. Would it be cicadas? Is that right? I have no idea, but if you hear them and it's annoying, I'm super sorry. I don't know what they are, but I, hopefully they don't attack me, but they're very loud. All right, so I didn't come on here even to talk about a cheat day or a cheat meal, but whether whatever you decide to have or however lifestyle you decide to have, just get back on track. The only way you fail, the only way you fail is if you quit. All right. It's, it actually really is beautiful, right? It doesn't bother me, but I sometimes wonder when people are listening. So normally in the mornings, I go through um, a book. Now we have been in Florida for 10 days. For those of you who have not messaged me with your questions, I get people that go, Oh, I'm so sorry. Listen, we're, we're on vacation, but we're not. I mean, my whole life, my husband and I work from home. We have four girls. We homeschool. We just simply moved our family from Minnesota for 10 days and came to Florida, but we're still doing our life. We also did have people come to join us, right? And so all I'm saying is, is I was thrown off the la a, a couple days in the mornings. So this morning we had all of our guests leaving and then we ran to the beach and I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't do my morning mindset. Maybe nobody cares, but if you do care, I'm very sorry. Now, with all of that, my hope is every day or most days to help give you a focus, something to think about, to help your mindset be on track. My hope is that you can learn how to, um, how to start and how to keep morning habits, a morning routine. You guys, they just stopped. Did you hear that? They all stopped. The crickets. I mean, there's crickets, but there was like loud ones. Did you? They all stopped at the same time. 
Maybe there's an alligator. Okay, I don't see one. Here's the deal. I, you guys, that was so weird. Maybe there was like eight of them and they all just decided they were stopping. Huh, I'm very baffled. Anyways, I didn't do the morning mindset and I really wanted to wrap this book up today so that we can start the book called The Miracle Morning that is going to help you create systems and habits to own your morning, all right? And so every day we work on the mindset in the morning. You can scroll through the page. Oh, oh a big snake. Oh, please don't say that. Oh, disgusting. I'm in like a little patio area, so there's like a fence around me, but that is disgusting. And there are snakes here and lizards. Did you guys see the iguana video that I posted on my stories? Oh my goodness. All right. If I scream, I'm so sorry. I will tell you this. The one thing about Florida that I don't love is nothing ever dies here because it doesn't get cold enough. There's so many creatures. We don't have creatures in Minnesota because they all die. That's great. Anyways, there are a bazillion recipes, tips, and tricks that we have been sharing on this page since 2015. Yes, you saw the iguana video. That thing fell from the tree today on the ground and then I tried to capture it with my phone and I missed it and then it scampered away and we didn't get to see it again. There are so many things here. Okay, so here's what I want you to know. <clears throat> if you live in Florida, there's like crocodiles and sharks all over the place. Iguanas, snakes, ants, bugs. Anyways, and it's beautiful. Okay, and I mean, listen, I am... It's a Friday night, so I figured since my family's watching a movie, I would come and talk to you. I really wanted to stand on point. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to wrap. I'm going to give you a thought for the evening. If you watch it in the evening, awesome. If you watch it tomorrow morning, awesome. I'm going back to the snow tomorrow. Do I miss the snow? No. Am I fine with the snow? 100%. It's not a big deal. You adapt wherever you live. There's positives and negatives to living anywhere in the world, and you're going to find great things and things that you don't love. It doesn't matter. It's all about perspective, right? So I actually do love living in Minnesota. So my husband would say he likes Florida, but too bad, so sad. We'll come and visit. So here's something I wanted to talk to you about real quick. The last two chapters of the book, right? If you don't like mindset stuff, then you can shut me off, but it will help you 100% in your entire life. If you like it and you normally choose the mornings, awesome. If you're here on a Friday night, then you need something to do. That's listening to me. The law of expansion. Growth always increases your capacity. There's no finish line. There's no finish line. And I love what he said. There was a little quote in here and he said, oftentimes people get really discouraged in the middle. Let me find what he said. And he said, everything looks like a failure in the middle, but that's when you have to push forward and keep going. So he's talking about the law of expansion, expanding your mind, realizing that I'm on a lifestyle journey of better for my whole life. And if I keep going, it's going to only better me, right? So here's what he said. Have you made the mental transition from I can't or can I to using the words, how can I? Looking at any situation in your life, right? Not I can't or can I, but how can I? It's just a different phrase, different, something simple, right? Looking at a situation in your life, I can't go to the gym or do I really think I can do that to how can I make that happen? How can I eat healthier? How can I choose better? How can I set myself up to win? How can I be better in any area of your life? How can I? He says this, ask yourself these questions. If I knew, these are really good, okay? If I knew I could not fail, what would I attempt? If you knew that you could not fail, what would you attempt? If you had no limitations, what would you like to do? These are great questions. You should write them down. If, if you knew you had no limitations, what would you like to do? And if, if finances were not an issue, what would you be doing in your life? These are really great questions. I should write them down and have you just answer them. These are really great. If you knew you could not fail, what would you do? If you want to answer below, awesome. If you could not fail, what would you do? If you had no limitations, 
what would you do? If finances weren't an, an issue, what would you do? So he dives into like the power of the mindset and asking yourself, not I can't, but how can I make this happen? And the entire book gives you those tools, right? Finding mentors, working on your mindset, being thankful. We're going to review it all in just a second. And basically he wraps this up and he says this. He says, uh, do you have a plan and a system to make sure that you are doing what's important daily? That's what we're going to talk about starting on Monday is the power of the miracle morning or taking or being in charge of your day. You owning your morning, not letting other people own your morning. He says, once you've created your own list of things that you feel like are the most important to you every single day, then you've got to figure out how you will manage and follow through eat with each of these priorities. That's what we're going to talk about on Monday. The power of the miracle morning, the power of owning your day, owning your morning, owning your life and not letting other people do it for you. And then the very last chapter, I'm just going to summarize it. It's called the law of contribution. And I loved what he says. He just basically says like, Hey, if you want to be better, and he talks about so many things. He says, have you guys ever heard the phrase? I'm sure you have. Um, what you give, you have forever. What you give, you have forever. We are called to serve others, right? And so he says, if you want better in your life, there's things that you should have an awareness of in your own life. He says, first of all, be thankful every single day, every morning. Be thankful for what you have. Be thankful for what's around you. He says, people who aren't grateful are not givers. If you want something in life, you need to also be a giver of that. He said, next, I want you to put people first. Put others around you first. He says, don't let stuff own you. Like things, don't let things own you. Don't let people own you. I want you to own your own day, your own dreams, your own, all of those things. Like you control your day. He says, define success as sowing and not reaping, giving and not taking. Focus on self-development and not self-fulfillment. And then keep growing to keep giving. So the book is basically done. And I kind of wanted to recap what we talked about. We really talked in this entire book. He talked about the power of intention, being intentional with everything that you do. Talked about the power of awareness. I, I talk about the power of awareness all the time. You need to have an awareness of what's going on, who's around you, the people that you're around, your, your environment, what needs to be changed, what you do out of habit. All of the little things that you might not pay attention to contribute to the choices that you make and a result of where you are today. Your choices, right? Every day you choose. 1% better, 1% worse. Talked about the law of the mirror, looking back at yourself. Really reflection, like uh, the law of reflection, the law of consistency, the law of environment, the law of design, the law of pain, the law of the ladder, the law of the rubber band, the law of the trade-offs, we're almost there, the law of curiosity, the law of modeling, the law of expansion, and contributing. I think this book was great. And it, remember, this isn't this was not about a keto diet, but this was, this was about understanding about the 15 invaluable laws of growth. And I believe that if you are not focused on your mindset every single day, getting up with a I get to attitude instead of an I have to, like I get to do this, I get to go to the gym, I get to homeschool my kids, I get to eat healthy, I get to, if you have an I get to mentality and then a, and a gratitude of like, this is what I'm thankful for. And then you go throughout your day knowing and having an awareness of every single decision that you choose is either leading you to 1% better, 1% worse. The people that you are around and you surround yourself with, 1% better, 1% worse. Because remember, in your daily actions, in your daily choices, you might not see the results. You won't see the results long term. It's like when you eat a donut today. You're not going to gain 50 pounds. You're not going to lose 50 pounds. But over the course of this year your choices will have a curvature to them, right? Is this making sense? Am I talking too fast? I really am excited to dive into the next book and we're starting on Monday. It's super important. So I needed to wrap this up. Every choice that you make starts here and you don't see it. I'm not going to see the donut right now. I'm not going to see the not going to the gym today. I'm not going to I might not even see the value of certain people that I hang around right now, but as you go through this entire year, it's eventually going to curve up and you will see a 
positive, more growth mindset of achieving goals over here, or you're going to see, ooh, I have not done great. I'm not surrounding myself with great people. I'm not making great choices. And ultimately you get to the end of the year and you're gonna be in one of these places, better or worse. I think this was the better one, better or worse. Make sense? And so have an awareness every single day. Like I've got goals out here, but I'm going to wake up every day with a thankful heart and a gratitude and have an awareness around me. I'm going to choose the best I can. I'm not gonna mess up good for perfect. The only way I fail is if I quit. I'm going to work on my mindset, whether it's five minutes of reading one, one or two pages of a book or listening to an audible book while I'm showering or on the way to work, listening to positive music, uh, not surrounding myself with negative people or a negative environment. I'm going to work on all these things for myself because out of what I learn and the things that I'm doing, I'm going to overflow into other people, right? Remember this saying, as I think, we said this before, as I think, so I feel, as I feel, so I do, as I do, so I have. As I think, so I feel. Whatever I'm thinking about causes my emotions, good or bad. If I'm thinking positively, I'm going to feel better. If I'm feeling better, I'm going to do better actions. I'm going to make better choices, and therefore I'm going to have better results. If I think negatively, I'm going to feel negative. I'm going to be crabby. I'm going to make poor choices. I'm going to ultimately reap the harvest of not goals that I want. It's very science, it's very biblical, like you reap what you sow, you reap what you think. Thoughts become things, it's very important and then watch the words that come out of your mouth. So, if you were looking for some mindful Friday evening tips, that is what I have for you this evening. Uh, if you were not, maybe you were supposed to be on here for a reason. And again, if you're just looking for recipes, ketomomsecrets.com has a, a whole blog, a ton of recipes and different ways to get started. You can scroll through this page for the last six and a half years and grab yourself some recipes. You can send me a message and go, hey, I need some help. I just need to get started. I need help with anything, right? I get questions about my whole life, parenting and marriage and homeschooling and traveling and ketones and the keto diet and the keto lifestyle and mindset like I love to talk I love hi Regina you guys she's the keto grandma in Oklahoma she's incredible and I hope to see her very soon I haven't seen her in a while hi Regina hi hi Lynn Lynn is always on here some of you I see often on here and I seriously appreciate your presence matters thanks Deanna you are amazing Oh, thank you, Kay, for sharing. Thank you. Here's the deal. You are amazing. You are worthy. You can 100% go after your goals. If you feel stuck or like in the middle, the middle isn't bad. You've got to keep moving forward. So, oh, you're so great. Thank you, Rhonda. She's all the way up in Canada. Canada's got some craziness going on there for sure. Truckers and cold. There is some serious stuff going on up there. Regina, you're sweet. All right, I appreciate you all. I'm gonna go finish packing. And then again, if you have questions, please send me a message. I am always, always, always here to help. Otherwise, we will be diving into the Miracle Morning book by Hal Elrod on Monday. And you can very much watch the live and take notes. And the key is to put it into action. So I'm gonna get very specific. We're gonna go over the, I'm gonna, it's gonna be very directive. Not like, I think I can do this, but it's going to be very much of a, um, you either do it or you don't, right? It's very much an action-based book. You've got to take action. You've got to do the things. You've got to do the work. So the, the recipe site is Keto Mom Secrets, all one word, ketomomsecrets.com. You can go there and then you can go uh, click on recipes. There's lots of them. Sometimes it's also easier to scroll through Instagram because you can scroll through and look for the pictures and then the recipes are on there as well. So Otherwise, send me a message if there's something specific you're looking for and I can send it right back to you. So I hope you guys have an incredible evening. That's all I've got. I can't believe all those crickets disappeared. I'm gonna go inside before, this, before I see a snake or an iguana or an alligator. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon.